Hey guys, it's Deja and Ivy, and welcome back to Squared. For this week's video, we are going to be showing you all some Halloween treats. Yes, these are going to be great for if you're having a Halloween party, you're having like a potluck or whatever, and you're in charge of bringing some snacks to the party, and you're really lazy and you don't really know how to do too much, well, that's okay. You guys can come in handy with that. But um, basically, yeah, before we get into the video and show you the treats, give it a big thumbs up and, and subscribe, subscribe to Squared. So, credit to Pinterest for most of these treats. Yes. That is where we got the ideas for these. Also, um, we're going to start off with more simple things and then move up to the more complicated things. So, <laughs> they require a little more work. So, the first thing that we're going to show you how to do is little witches brooms. Like, brooms yes. for witches. Um, All you need are some pretzel sticks and mini Reese's peanut butter cups. We got the big one. On accident. But, yeah, but you the just get the mini ones, and it's really simple and easy how to do it. You only need one step really is to unpackage the greasy peanut butter cup and insert this into the middle of the middle of the Reese's peanut butter cup. But make sure it's flipped upside down. Yeah. So you would basically just this. stick and it'll look like a little witch's broom. If you like Rice Krispie Treats, you're going to like this next one yeah. because it involves Rice Krispie Treats. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take one of these little little fellas and you're going to need some icing, yes. any color that you want, lots of colors. If you want it Halloween-like, then you know, get Halloween colors and you're going to just put them on. Decorate your little Rice Krispie treat however you want. And then take icing, white icing, and then a different colored icing. So you can make eyes on the Rice Krispie treat. So they kind of look like little monsters. And you're eating them. It's cute and adorable. So I tried to make a Frankenstein, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> but instead, it looks like it's something it looks like something off of Yo Gappa Gappa, or it looks like a robot. Either way, he's so tasty and delicious. Oh, cut it off! Cut it off! <laughs> it's good! I was just kidding about before. <laughs> if you are a brownie lover, then you'll love this next one. Basically, you just need to bake your brownies however you normally bake them. And you want to take some marshmallows and add it on top of the brownies. You can do this while it's warm, warm. I'm pretty sure, because that way the marshmallow kind of melts Melt. onto the brownie. Yeah. And you just take some of your icing or frosting and you're going to put it on top of the um, marshmallow. And it's good if you do this while the brownie's still hot, that way yeah. the icing melts on it. And um, then you just want to take some of your chocolate frosting or like a black colored icing to make eyes on the marshmallows and you have some spooky brownies. Thanks for watching! If you guys enjoyed this video remember to give it a big thumbs up and check out our main channel. Also, if you guys want to see yesterday's video, click right over there. If you want to see more of us, click right up there. And if you want to subscribe to Squared, click right over here. Yes, we will see you guys all next time. Bye!